Hey, how you doing? Austin here. So let's have a fireside chat about Shiba Inu. And you saw the thumbnail, stressing, question mark, exclamation. Well, are you stressing or not? If you're not, probably don't need to watch this video. <laughs> but if you want to hear me talk about Shiba Inu and a few other things, then cool, stick around. But here's what this is. Um, I've been doing this for a long time now with Shiba Inu, which by the way is back to May, which you're like, well, that's only about six or seven months, Austin. In crypto days and Shiba Inu days, that's a million years, all right? And uh, so I wanted to come to you guys and have a discussion if you are stressing and if you're freaking out, if you're looking at the price point right now in the mid fours and it's down seven or eight plus percent today, depending on when you're watching this video, and if you're freaking out, this video is for you. I want you to understand and to, I want you to know that I know and I get it. And what I mean by that is we tend to have a lot of new crypto token investors that come into Shiba Inu and other ones like Saitama and et cetera. But really Shiba Inu, because it's easy to get, you can get on any major exchange and you can get on any of the top 10 major global exchanges, et cetera. Okay. And so I feel you out there if you are, and I've got private members in my Patreon group that are stressing out and they're thinking I'm like the sky is falling, et cetera. And really what I wanted to make this video was it, to tell you that um, again, not investing advice. You have to do what's right for you. If you feel like you need to get out because you just, you know, the roller coaster rides a little bit too much for you, then that's cool. Then, you know, um, you, you know how to exit this, you know, exit the building, if you will. And, but if you're sitting there and you're kind of worried about, you know, uh, where we, we, you know, we, we, we may not do anything for a while. We might be here in the four range for a while and might have a couple of de days more where we're, where we're down and five, six, seven percent. And you're like, why isn't it green every single day or things like that? Again, let me just kind of have that dialogue with you. Number one, it, no token can be green every single day. It cannot be rising every single day. And we're like, Austin, we get that. I know, but do you really, okay? I say this a lot because again, I realize that a lot of new, of new crypto token investors and maybe even new to investing in general are coming in via Shiba Inu. And take it from me, I've been doing this for 30 plus years. I've been around this block a few times. You can't let your emotions rule you. you, you if you're thinking about selling because you're scared, you're afraid, my advice, Tell you for what it's worth, not investing advice, is to is to back up a little bit and just look at what's going on in the overall market conditions and kind of look and, and ask yourself these questions. Do I believe in the project? Do I believe in where Shiva Inu, in the ecosystem and the project and where it's going to go? Yes or no? Okay, you have to answer that question for yourself. I, I do. I believe in the ecosystem. And again, just because I do doesn't mean you need to, okay? It has to be the right choice for you. But I believe in the ecosystem. I believe in where they're taking it, okay? Um, and that's everything, including the game, the metaverse uh, component of the game, the the new blockchain that they're going to be, that they're building, Shibarium, um, and everything that they're going to be doing with all of the different coins and tokens and et cetera, you know, around the, you know, around the ecosystem, Okay. Do you believe in that? Yes or no? And do you think that that's going to get bigger as we roll along? Do you think that we're going to add more holders as we grow along? Because as we roll on, because we're over a million plus now, and as we add more holders, that that tends to obviously make the the, the token price rise over time. Again, there are other considerations, but you get my point. Um, you know, do you do you believe in the executive and dev team? The ability to execute, to deliver what they've promised on. They have, okay? They they, they they promised a Shiba swap, they delivered. They promised NFTs, they delivered. They promised, you know, to 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 move the gaming initiative forward. They have delivered significantly by bringing on William Volk, uh, bringing him on to head up the entire gaming and metaverse initiative for Shiba Inu. They have delivered. Again, my opinion, right? You have to make the right choice for you. My point to you is this, is that from a price point standpoint, you're going to have days and periods like this. Guys, in May and June, we had we had six, seven weeks of where we really weren't doing anything. The price was just basically dead, if you will. Okay, It wasn't doing anything. And we came back and we had an amazing October up a thousand plus percent. November, we pulled back from the highs, which I expected us to. We consolidated back down. Again, this is how it works, okay? And so this is really just a fireside chat, if you will. And to try to give you some perspective on we've been here before, we'll be here again. These periods of days where we are down a little bit or up just a little bit, but we're really consolidating, we're really kind of going sideways, for lack of a better way to say it, where that means where the price point's not really going up or not really going down at the end of the day, is a good thing. 
Okay. It and you're like, why is it a good thing? Because we're building support at this level, and by and and you have to have a really good massive support to set the stage to, if you will, for the next run up to hit then the next level of support and go forth and go forth and go forth. And by the way, that's not just a straight run, stop, go sideways. It's just go up, go down a little bit, go up, sideways, go up, go down a little bit. <laughs> that's how it works, guys. Okay. Again, um, I want you to understand that I get it. And, I, and I'm trying to help you navigate these waters, trying to help you understand a little bit about how this game is played. And if you're stressing out, do something to try to not stress out. Like what I do, I literally get up and I go walk my dog. I literally get up and I go get in my car, my, my truck, I mean, and I go drive around a little bit, go get, go get an ice cream, go get lunch, go do something. I go spend time with my wife, my son, etc. I don't look at my phone all day and looking at, you know, my portfolio, um, especially when it's in the red, because that tends to irritate, frustrate, drive you crazy, you know, etc. Take this for what it's worth. Okay. And uh, my hope is that you uh, will stay as a holder and uh, enjoy the ride and enjoy where we're going because I think that this is a really cool ride. By the way, not being paid, have never been paid by anybody at Shiba Inu ever one single token or one single dollar to create this content. I just believe in the project and uh, enjoy making this content and, lo and love being part of the SHIB army with you guys and just like to be here. And so with all that said, have yourself a good one. Take it easy. If you're stressed and take a breath, that's a saying my dad used to say all the time, take a breath, son. Take a breath. Take a step back and try not to let your emotions um, rule you. Try not to let your emotions make you do something that you'll regret later. Now, if you feel like at the end of the day it's not the right fit, that's cool. I get it. All right. Then um, my best to you if that's how you feel. And I genuinely want you to succeed. I want everybody to succeed because that's what it's after. That's what it's about at the end of the day. It's about making profits and making money and using that in a positive way to impact your life, your family's life, you know, people you love for, you care for. I got a great story. I'm going to retell it. There's a, there's a member who reached out to me um, after the last big Shiba Inu run and he had made enough profits uh, to cash out some Shiba Inu into, he was a cook in a, uh, in a developing uh, a nation and he was going to go uh, and that money, that profit that he had made was going to feed 200 kids for one year and that's what he was going to do with his profits from Shiba Inu. That's what I'm talking about. That's the cool stuff, okay? So what are you going to do if you make some good, good profits? What are you going to do to make your world better, make somebody else's world better? That's what it's about at the end of the day. All right, guys, take it easy. I'll see you later. Go make some money. Bye.